I know I haven't posted any videos for a couple of weeks, so I decided I'd uh, show you guys something really special this time. This is the Weltron Model 2001, better known as the Spaceball. It's an 8-track player and an AM and FM radio. This model came in three colors, white, yellow, and orange. White seems to have been by far the most popular color, but orange is definitely the most desirable and valuable color now. So I got lucky to find this one at a uh, reasonable price. I haven't really had to do much of anything to this set. All I did was uh, you know, clean the controls. I haven't even done anything with the 8-track mechanism. It still works, although I probably should uh, oil it. Alright, I'm going to start out with the... Uh, 8-track player. Got a Glenn Miller 8-track here. Contacts. Like I said, I haven't uh, messed with it much. Well, this was all working. Oh, there it goes. Here's a fifth dimension eight track tape. Let's hear that. So I see that I've got to do some work on the 8-track uh, mechanism, but it still plays fairly well. Alright, let's try the uh, FM radio. It's very common to see these uh, radios with a broken off or non-original antenna, so I'm glad this one has the correct antenna. It's only got a little bit of damage there at the top. I did my best to straighten it out and it does you know, retract properly now. On that overhead, but you have, you have to get it all in line, all of it. It's so embarrassing for her family. She doesn't want her full name used. I haven't actually sprayed these uh, three controls yet. It can't be twice that this happens to me. I cried and collapsed because of it. Because I don't have what I need. And it's unclear even if every Sometimes if, if the controls are pretty worn, it, it can make it worse using contact cleaner on them. A potential federal crime. Well, I don't think this thing saw too much use, so I'd probably be okay uh, doing that. I don't think I'd have any issues. Play two more years in Oakland, but the reality is once they settle on a the price, they'll then get the votes. Yeah, vague. Maybe. Here we go. How would your 90s team? Sounds pretty good on AM, too. Wait, no, no. 
I'm recording this video around noon, so there won't be that many stitches to receive. battery meter down here and uh, you probably noticed I am using this on batteries right now the battery cases on these things are usually completely mint or pretty rusty you know people use them they end up forgetting D batteries in there so it's got this tray here for 8D cells Later examples of this model don't have the tray. The batteries just kind of snap right into the back. This model seems to have been produced for a couple of years at least. I couldn't really find a concrete date on on when this model came out. I had, although I had seen 1972 mentioned a couple of times. So that, that could be uh, the correct date. There's this little uh, latch that slides down to Hold the battery case in place there. And here's where you can connect your AC cord. This one also works on AC power, but I don't think I need to re-demonstrate that for uh, you guys. There's also a uh, car adapter that you could store here if you so chose. And in fact, I think I've got one of them stored away in this box here. I actually picked this up before I got this uh, Weltron here because I saw it at a what I thought was a reasonable buy it now. These are the headphones that were sold to uh, go with this machine. And it came with all the cables. So, got this auto cable which was never used. And uh, these two cables here which you can use to attach your own external speakers uh, using the jacks on either side. These seem to be fairly rare. I guess people threw these out. I don't know. But there's a jack on either side. Here's the Weltron Model 37-001W headphones. I'm not sure if these came in any other colors. Uh, this particular pair obviously doesn't match the uh, color of the unit. If they did come in other colors, I haven't seen uh, any examples of that. The jack is on the bottom here. These were originally foam. It has turned uh, rock hard. I don't want to press on it because it's just going to damage it more like it is there. I don't know that you could even get replacement ear cups for this thing, so I'm just going to leave that be. The other thing that came with this pair of headphones tucked into the lid, if I can get it out of here, was uh, the original manual for the Voltron Model 2001. Shows all the features. You can see the layout of the uh, connectors is slightly different in the example picture here. I have another one of these Weltron space balls that I'm probably going to sell that has the uh, jacks laid out like that. I guess I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Shows you how to store the cords there. And there's a little schematic there. I like how they called this thing the electronic revolution. I don't know if I'd call it a revolution, but uh, 
It was a fairly iconic design and it seems to have sold uh, quite well. Although Waltron didn't seem to have produced a uh, popular follow-up to this model. All the models that came after this one are uh, far less common. It's got a nice carrying handle here. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but there's uh, two screws under the handle. You can shift the handle either way to get at them. Taking those two screws out will allow you to lift this whole piece off. And then you can access the top of the chassis. And then by removing some more screws, you can take the chassis out. I haven't pulled the chassis yet. I've just taken this top cover off to get at the uh, you know selector and, and tuning to uh, lubricate that because it was uh, sticking. There's a little loop here to attach a chain or a cord to hang it from your ceiling. That's probably a really bad idea, and that's probably how a lot of these got you know, busted, especially the antennas. This one was pretty dirty when I got it, but uh, underneath that dirt it was actually in great shape. Still gotta clean up the uh, speakers a little bit. Have to separate them from the plastic piece here and clean that, but I uh, cleaned the top with rubbing alcohol and that turned out great. Be real careful getting any kind of cleaner or rubbing alcohol on the rubber here. This is a suction cup. Um, it causes it to like disintegrate on the surface. I accidentally got a little on there. You can see it's still kind of shedding a little bit of rubber. So uh, watch out for that. Here's the other Waltron Spaceball I uh, have. This one I got before the orange one. It was sold to me as being a yellow one. Uh, the person who sold it to me didn't have any pictures in their auction, uh, which is actually against eBay's rules. They just had a picture of like a landscape or something. And you know, I asked like, "Is it definitely a yellow one, not like a yellowed white one?" I said to like check in the battery compartment because you know you can see the true color in there. And they're like, "Yep, it's yellow." And uh, of course, it turned out to not be. That was my bad luck because a yellowed white example of this model is not worth anywhere near as much as a true yellow colored space ball. Just from looking at eBay, my estimate would be that for every you know ten or so white ones, there's one orange one, and maybe for every five white ones, there's one yellow one. So white seems to have been by far the most popular color. At least this one has yellowed relatively evenly so it doesn't look so bad it's kind of like an ivory color now uh, some of these are just faded on one side from just having been in the sun on one side so this one fared a little better there's the power adapter and you can see the layout of the uh, connectors for the power are different this one's also got a good battery compartment serial number on this one is 115348 I believe it's a little older than the other one there's a label on the back it was packed poorly so this got kind of uh, mangled a little bit I did my best to straighten it out but it's not perfect this one does also work although the uh, dial is slipping a little bit right now I gotta fix that still play fairly well. And change tracks okay. <laughs> and it's also got a good uh, suction cup on the bottom there. It's not rotted or anything. The serial number on the orange one is 
one eight six four eight five. So it's a little bit later than the uh, the white one. This one's got a nearly perfect rear label. There's a little ding there, but it's all right. Got this little box of eight track tapes. Uh, some of these are pretty rough. Be hesitant to stick them in the eight track player. There's one unopened one here though. I think I'm gonna leave it unopened. Pointer Sisters. The soundtrack from The Graduate. One thing that can happen to these tapes is that the uh, little foil piece that connects the two ends of the tape uh, can come loose and then you know the tape's going to unwind unfortunately. Uh, if you don't know, 8-track tapes are like an infinite loop so the tape just feeds back onto the the reel. I believe it pulls out from the center and then feeds onto the uh, the outside of the reel. There's a little rubber roller here. And there's these foam pads, although these ones are pretty crushed. I don't know if any of these have it here, but some of them have like yeah these ones. Uh, some of the tapes have like a metal spring with a felt piece on it. That survives a lot better than the foam does. And this one's got a plastic wheel there instead of a rubber one. Um, one thing to watch out for, I haven't personally ran into it, but uh, other people have, is that sometimes these rollers turn to goo. So you definitely want to just kind of like press on it before you stick it in the uh, 8 track player to make sure that it's not just mush. Because it'll get all over the uh, mechanism of your 8-track player. Well, thanks for watching.